Cool. Hey everybody, uh, John from Creation Music here. Uh, we want to take a few minutes and talk through our Arrow series and the new risers and how they all work together with modules and cases. And you know, just so you know, this is going to be available to watch later. We're not going to just do the live. We're going to have it for uh, to review later as well as we're going to save it and upload it to our YouTube for those that don't actually use Instagram. Instagram is kind of our, our main uh, social media way to connect with you, but we're going to put this on YouTube though for those who want to watch it later. Uh, so this is just kind of an informal review. We've got kind of some of all of our parts laid out and uh, some different cases and just wanted to demonstrate and answer some of your guys' questions. So do feel free to shut, pipe up. Uh, Colin's running the camera, so if there's any questions that are relevant that we need to address, we'll go ahead and take those right now as well. Um, okay, so we made an announcement yesterday that we are releasing a new line of risers. They come in five standard sizes. This is the smallest, I believe this is the 11 by five. And then we go 14, 17, 23, and 30. They're all designed with different uh, uses for our boards in mind. For instance, the 11 can be used on any board really, but it was designed to be able to put it to one side or the other on our 18 by 12 five arrow. So that way you've got a space. If you're one of those people, I just want to put one or two or, or three small pedals up top and still have a wall or riser over here, power supply below, patch bay, and some other pedals on your lower level, you can. Um, and so they all, there's on, on the product page, they actually say kind of what they're all designed to be used and intended for, but obviously you can mix and match and put them anywhere you want. Um, one question we got right out of the gate was, uh, can, you know, can I put them without drilling? And absolutely, that's what these were designed for. I'll pop this up. I've only got this partially on right now. This backing plate here, is a lot, allows you to put the screws through the slots and tighten it against the board without having to drill your deck. Now, with the way the arrows were already designed, some slots have two rows that go all the way to the end. Other larger boards, I'll grab a frame real quick. Colin can keep showing you that. Other larger boards, like our 3216, this slot here didn't go all the way to the end. So there will be some limitations how far over you can slide things. If you ever run into a spot where you're like, well, I really wanted to go all the way back and all the way to the end. You can always drill the deck, but we designed them so you had a lot of options that you don't have to drill the deck. Just know that you can still always have a workaround to get them anywhere you want, but the idea was to have a lot of very usable options without drilling the deck. Um, the other thing that's really kind of cool and important about these is we designed them with kind of a modular uh, idea in mind. This is our patch bay. We originally designed it for our Elevation series, and then when we came out with the Aero series, we designed the Aero series to be compatible with this as far as mounting it underneath. If you use our foot extension kit with 3M dual lock, this sits right outside that notch and perfectly lines up with your Aero. That notch is also designed for like a Strymon power supply brick in mind, so that, oops, wrong way so that it wouldn't block that once you mounted it with 3M dual lock. It'd sit right like that. So but with that, not everyone's going to use this on an Aero series. Some people might be using it on a regular flat series. So whether you want to leave this open and use it for cable routing, just like the slots on top, or you want to mount a patch bay, you can. Um, these, they're a part of our Aero series because they match the same type of aluminum, same type of powder coat, but they're designed to be able to be used on any flat board you want. I wouldn't recommend using it on the Elevation Series. We got that question yesterday. I, I, let me put it this way. You could, obviously anything is possible, <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be a very tall board. You're gonna have a hard time getting a case for it. You'll probably have to get something custom made from us. Uh, and you know, the, Air, the Elevation Series is an angle board with modular ends kind of for that in mind. Uh, that this is kind of more, we, this is becoming a popular request. So we started making them by hand and this is to streamline that process and make it as best we can and make it something that's unique to us. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it for the Elevation Series. It is for people that really do kind of want that two tier uh, pedal board design. I forgot to mention, they are hinged risers. The way they hinge is that they have these little thumb screws and all you do, if you want to hinge it one way or the other, take out either the front or back set of thumb screws, and that's the way it'll hinge. So this will just go up, go down, it's real solid, no issues. If you ever want to lock it in place, you don't even have to use both. You can just use one thumb screw. We do recommend just keeping it finger tight, okay? Uh, and the way we do that, 
and make it really solid so that it hinges is we actually have these pin nuts pre-installed. So with the nut being stationary, that's why it can hinge on the screw and not deal with loosening and tightening the screw as it goes the whole time. Okay, that's the overall design of that. With that, I don't have one in front of me, but I can, I can describe it for you. We did come out with an alternate set of brackets for people who do still need, outside of these five sizes, do still need a custom size. We can still make a custom size deck like we always have. It matches our flat series, just your basic phenolic ply wrapped in trim. And then we just make that deck and we screw it to this set of brackets instead. It's slightly adjusted to be just a touch shorter so that it's the same height as our other riser. A little bit less room underneath uh, uh, for mounting things, but it works. So Actually, got... it gives you 0.1 inch more underneath. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's about the same. Gotcha. Okay. Colin corrects me. Colin, by the way, is our designer. He uh, used to work at another company be uh, not too long ago. He used to work for me years ago. We were happy to have him back. He does all of our high-level 3D CAD design. and So he actually drew all these in the computer, just kind of takes my ideas and runs with them because that's not something I do. And I really appreciate him. So he might pipe up from time to time. <laughs> okay. So are there any questions yet? Any good ones at least? Okay. Cool. We'll just keep running with that. So like I said, there's five sizes. Um, and uh, you can do them for different configurations. Like I said, they're designed to match our standard width boards. So we've got 18, 24, and 32 inch wide boards. So you've got some different width risers that kind of go along with that. The other thing we've been asked a lot by people is fit with case. So I want to go over this and kind of describe that. So if you don't already know, I mentioned the foot extension kit on our Aero series. That was designed so you could put patch bays and power supplies down below. This is an Aero series without the foot extension kit. It's roughly a half inch shorter. Okay, that's all the difference is. That half inch does matter. So here's our soft case, which we designed to be the best fit we could for, for different height boards. So for instance, a flat board could go in there and it had a little bit of extra room on top, but that was okay, it wasn't too bad. Lots of padding, so if it moved, it wasn't a big problem. Angle boards went in there, they're a little bit more of a snug fit, and but it, it would work fine for both. The riser and an arrow series are about the same height as our angle elevation series, so you're gonna have a pretty similar fit. However, this one does have the extension kit on it. We took some videos from inside the case that we can show. I don't know if you wanted to pull one of those up. Mm -hmm. So Colin can actually share that in the middle of the stream and show that with you, the fit from inside the soft case. And yeah. the, the video he's gonna show you is without the extension kit. Clothes, it's a snug fit, it's fine. This one with the extension kit being that little bit taller, you know, most people are putting something like a Strymon or a JHS pedal up top. Okay, so I did test it, it will close, it's a snug fit. Okay, if you have a larger board and a whole row of pedals, it might be even more snug. What I can say is the closer you bring that row to the center, the easier it's going to be. But most people, obviously, want to put that riser all the way to the back. It will close. It's just going to be a snug fit. I would imagine there are some pedals out there, some extremely tall pedals, you're going to have a harder time with. But these are kind of your most common. That's what we wanted to test it with. I want to show the flight case. Um, and Colin has a video he can pull up in the meantime to show that fit. And then I'll go over a couple things here live with that. So show its fit. Okay, so that flight case, I wanted to show something I, I've kind of described to answer this question a million times for people. The reason our flight cases have these riser blocks is they're removable. So if you have an angle board, you can drop that in and remove this depth. If you have a flat board with these blocks in there, okay, now the board would sit on top of those blocks, pedal goes in, and you have storage underneath the case. That's kind of why we made our Blackout Series standard as a drop-in case, because live-in case, for those who don't know, is a much shallower tray. So when you pull the lid off the case, the board stays in the tray, you can play it still in the tray. That's a great design, 
But for us having a stock off the shelf ready to, ready to go case, a lot of people have no problem just pulling their board out of the case. It takes two seconds. Um, and so with this, we were able to kind of have a, one, a little bit more of a one size fits all. So no matter what type of board, we have a case for your size, it kind of works. So anyway, that's what those blocks are for. You get the storage underneath. With the riser, you would want to pull those blocks out just like you would for, you saw in the video, just like you would for a, um, uh, an angle board. You pop that in, okay? And then same thing, pedal goes on top. And this is with the extension kit, closes just fine, okay? So that's something I wanted to show live of why our, our, our cases have those blocks. They're removable. When you order a case and a flight or a angle board, we usually pull them out for you. That way we can send it all in one box. So I hope that took care of most of the questions. Sometimes seeing just helps to understand. And we do our best to answer your questions quickly as well. Uh, on email and be as thorough as we can, but sometimes describing things and like, oh, this riser fits this way and that, it gets, it's a little bit easier just to see. So we wanted to do a quick, just impromptu video. So we had a good reference point to refer people back to. Hopefully we haven't gone too long, made it too complicated to get the information you want quickly. But um, real quick before we go, any pertinent questions or anybody we should just say hello to? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of answered it, but one guy asked if the, the chocks would fit underneath. Oh, okay. And which, yeah, the new DC, like the DC sevens and stuff, those will definitely fit with the extension feet yeah, on there. Yeah, most power supplies that are that are coming out now that are slimmer uh, will almost always fit with the extension kit. It's, uh, yeah, it's, the difference is literally just that extra half inch. We use a longer bushing and longer screw to extend out that foot, and that gives you that room you need underneath the board. So yeah, most, like for instance, this question we get all the time. Uh, people ask us, well, will this Prime Zuma fit under there? No, it will not. That's not long mm -hmm. enough for that. But oh, Zuma R300 and all the Ojais and power blocks will fit underneath. I haven't actually used this, the Chox ones, but I'm pretty sure they'll fit just based on the specs on their website. With the extension kit, you have 1.45 inches of room. Be sure to factor your dual lock for mounting. That adds almost an eighth of an inch to 0.125. But be sure to just check the specs of whatever power supply you're using. And if it's less than say 1.25 inches you're usually you're usually fine maybe even a little bit more we have one guy asking um which this is just kind of defining our terms can you explain the difference between the height versus depth of a pedal or board yeah Anything okay else? so for us when i'm looking at when i'm looking at a pedal board i'm looking at width and depth and height that's mm -hmm. kind of how i i view it um you know, whenever i'm looking down as a player this is how wide this is and depth is kind of a, a, a odd term because you think depth, you think of this, how deep it goes. But for us, it's how deep the board goes, how far back the pedals go. And then the height is the height of the rig, and that defines the height of the case. So when you're ever ordering a custom size flight case from us, that's how we determine those, those uh, terms as well. Yep. So. Yeah, one more question, okay. and I'm eager to hear your answer on this. Can you make a dust cover to fit over my pedal board when not in use? No, <laughs> I can't. I, 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 I understand the reasoning. Uh, that's not just not something we do in-house, and it's not something we probably would get enough requests. Um, now, to that point, if you were to buy a soft case, just unzip it and lay it over. It's not the cleanest mm -hmm. look in the world, but it would act as a dust cover. Yeah, a few um, of us here at Creation have a little 99-cent paintbrush from Lowe's and we dust off our pedals when they get too dusty. We get a little meticulous <laughs> with that. We actually have one in the setup room. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope that answers all your questions. Uh, well, that's, that'll be all for us today, unless there's something real quick uh, you're looking at mm. me. Uh, any 2416 blackout cases in stock? Yes. Yep. All our flight cases, uh, blackout flight cases, excuse me, are currently in stock at the time of this recording. If you're watching later, obviously that changes from time to time. Uh, but the entire loft upstairs, you don't need to show it, uh, is just <laughs> full of cases, yep. and those are all stock ready to go. We are back ordering our few frames at the moment that are coming in next week with our shipment of risers. That's why the risers are on pre-order, and they'll be shipping June 6, 2022. Yep. Okay? I think we're good. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day.